let's talk about how much I hate the world today. Um, so I think I mentioned the other day that the starter, I, okay, so when I first moved back to Alaska, I didn't have a car for like the first three months. So then last month, um, I got a little bit of money. I only had like a thousand dollars to spend on a car because I still haven't sold my car in Vegas. Um, and so, uh, I was like, okay, I'm just going to go buy a thousand dollar car. It just has to get me through the winter. And then when I sell my car in Vegas, I will buy a better car. And then by then I'll have a job. Maybe I can go get finance for a car and I can buy a nice car. That was the plan. So I bought this 95 Ford Explorer, um, which is a complete and total piece of shit. Uh, the day after I bought it, um, or no, the day that I bought it, I took it through the car wash and the brakes fell off in the car wash. Um, so I put brand new brakes and rotors on it the first day that I bought it. And then um, I've had it for about a month and the starter went out. And I'm not putting any more money into it. So, um, so I'm trying to find a new car. And I'm really frustrated because I have two jobs and I can totally afford a car payment. But I have no down payment because I spent what could have been a down payment on this piece of shit. So, like, I fucking hate everything. Um, so that's been my day so far. But, uh, in answer to your question, this is also, by the way, my third try at a video. I did two first thing this morning when I woke up, and I had one that I really liked, and then I accidentally X'd out of the screen while it was rendering on the YouTube page, because I'm awesome. And that's what I do. So, anyways, um, I need to find my notes. Uh, okay, the girl who kicked the hornet's nest, I have not listened to yet, um, because I'm out of room on my iPod Touch, and my big iPod, my 80 gig iPod, is still in Vegas. Uh, Mike has not yet sent it back, I don't know if I'll ever see it again. Um, so, and I'm just not willing yet to, um, delete music off my touch. So, I may just listen to it on the computer, or I may just borrow it from the library and actually read it. Um, I'm not getting bitch anymore, I'm too poor, I had to cancel my sponsorship of them. Um, but don't send me yours because I know you like to keep yours and I like to keep mine too. So, um, I'm just going to go buy it from the bookstore when I have a chance. Um, the YWCA job. Totally awesome. What it is, is I am a girls circle facilitator. So I have two groups of, um, 10 fifth and sixth graders at two different schools. They're both what's called title one schools, which, um, are like empowerment schools in Vegas. They're like there's really no nice way of saying it. They're they're not bad schools at all. They're good schools. Um, but they're schools that are in parts of the city that need more help economically. Um, and so they're of, like, special concern, essentially. But they're not bad schools at all. They have top-notch teachers. The kids are fantastic. I love both of my groups. Um, so they're not bad schools, but they get this bad rap. But they're called Title I schools up here. Um, and I don't know exactly what Title I means, I don't know what that's in reference to, but they're basically the same as the empowerment schools in Vegas. Um, so, uh, so I, I have these two groups, and, um, every Friday I meet with each group for an hour, one's a lunchtime group, one's an after school group, and we talk about what it's like to be a girl, and we talk about, um, body image, and we talk about respecting yourself and others, and we talk about forming healthy friendships and healthy relationships, and my groups do this thing called the One Minute Dance Party, and I turn Lady Gaga on for a minute, and we all rock out. So, that's pretty fun. Um, and then my other job at the tea shop um, is completely awesome, because literally I'm, I like talk about tea all day. There's like 300, 200 and something tea blends, and I make tea, because I do that all day. So, that's kind of awesome. Um, and then I make coffee and stuff, too, and um, they're letting me bake. We have fresh baked stuff that's all in here. So, that's kind of awesome. Um, so, both of my jobs are fantastic. Um, I just need to start getting paid. So, because I just started both of them, so I haven't really got paid for either one of them, and I have like $37 to my name right now for the foreseeable future. So, that's mildly depressing. I'm 28 years old, and I have $37 to my name, and I live with my mother, and um, this little room that I'm sitting in is everything. This is my entire life. This is, that's it. Um, and I would show you my room, but it's thrashed, because I've been trying to figure out how to fit, um, 28 years worth of crap into a single bedroom, and a small apartment bedroom at that, 
Um, so yeah, it's just kind of everywhere. Um, did I tell you what I was reading in the last video? I can't remember. I think I did. If I didn't, then I'll do it again. Um, but I did just pick up, I'm super excited because I love this guy. And I, I, you've read some of these, I think, Christopher Moore. This is his new one in the, um, Blood Sucking Fiends series. It was like Blood Sucking Fiends, um, Stuck, and I think this is the third one in that, that those same people. And Christopher Moore is hilarious. I love him. So I picked this up to just maybe read this weekend because they're super quick and they're funny. And so I rented it from the library. Um, uh, I ran out of notes. So clearly I just stopped taking notes on your video. Sorry. Um, and... You asked me another question. I think you just asked me about my jobs, but, um, mostly today I hate everything. Mostly that's it. Um, oh, I wanted to ask you a question. Are we telling people about this? Like, are we going to share this on the internet or is this just for you and I? Um, what's the deal? Cause I think that we're hilarious, obviously. And so I feel like our hilarity needs to be shared with the world. Oh, that was the other thing you asked me about school. Um, this is going to be disappointing. I dropped all my classes. Um, I had, like, when uh, my stepmom had her stroke last week, I just sort of freaked the fuck out. And, um, between working two jobs and not really having a car and, um, my mom being sick, I just decided that if there was ever a time to take a semester off from school and get my life back on track, like, this was probably the semester to do it. And I found out, because I can't finish my interdisciplinary studies program at UAA, because their interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary studies program is different than UNLV's interdisciplinary studies program. So I had to change back to sociology, so all the classes that I was taking this semester aren't going to count towards that degree. Yay! So I just dropped them and sucked up the money, and I have like $200 worth of textbooks about... um. I have longing and belonging, um, our inner self, um, intimate fathers. So, uh, I was taking a lot of, like, marriage and family classes, which I hate anyways, because I'm a fan of neither marriage or family. So, um, I hate them. I hate them. And they were terrible classes. So, uh, I mean, they weren't terrible classes. Like, they were decent classes. I just, they weren't anything that was interesting to me. And if they weren't going to do me any good towards my degree program and they weren't at least interesting, then there was no point. And they were stressing the fuck out. Because four 400 level social site classes online is a lot. Is a lot of work. Um, and so, right now, I need to get my life back on track. So, I'm just working and hanging out with my cat. Um, so, yeah. That's kind of what's up with me today. Um, I hate everybody. Uh, boys are dumb. Boys are fucking stupid. They're the dumbest thing on the planet. I don't even know why we have them. Um, and, uh, I am really stoked because I just got a cable box for my room. I have a cable box and TV in my room, which means tonight at nine o'clock when Grey's Anatomy's on, I can lay in my bed and just cry as much as I want to and watch Grey's Anatomy all by myself. So I'm really settling into the single life. I'm really, I'm doing well. I'm doing well with being, um, a bitter old hag. So I feel like, I feel like the addition to, of the cable box to my room, to my inner sanctum, is definitely going to go very far for the, um, for the dying a spinster plan that I have. So, that's kind of awesome. Um, yes, I want to go to Sock Summit. Hopefully by next May I can afford that. Um, and it would be awesome if you go too, because we would be fantastic and we could stock the yarn harlot. Are you excited? I'm excited. Um, so, so yeah, think happy thoughts for me because I'm really stressed out about money and the car thing and I kind of hate my life a little bit and I'm trying to be perky, I'm trying to be optimistic, and I'm trying to be like, 
no, my boyfriend of seven years dumping me unceremoniously four months ago didn't completely derail my entire life. No, I'm totally fine. I love being single and living with my mother at 28 years old. I love only having $37 to my name and working two jobs so that I can buy a shitty $3,000 car. I love it. I love it. My life is awesome. Um, so, happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. We're going to be happy. It's going to be fantastic. Um, I'm going to go clean the bathroom because that's how awesome my life is. All right, you buddy. Watch you soon.